And I miss down there in the old Brooklyn, Dan no, this is Danielson. The other side of that bridge is Brooklyn. This is Danielson. And I'm not going to wait for the light because there's no traffic. And I'm going to wait for these guys to go by. No, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I usually wait for those guys coming out of Maple Street. But today, that traffic was pretty good for the visa guy to get through. The visa guy got through. So I did. Ha! Metal! You get that? <laughs> yeah, I don't get the shit. Uh, it do vodka rocks and uh Whatever he make, I think it was oatmeal cookie, Rosen rate milk cookie, I think he made it two sh a shot. And I uh, bought some for five guys. Well, I bought it for six, but one guy that was there didn't come back for a shot. Slow down. So one guy that was there drank the shot. I bought him, but he drank that extra shot. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I care. You know, I see a lot of people that have their videos and they bleep and fuck shit. Everything else. Well, since I don't edit, I don't fucking care about bleeping my fucking words. And sometimes I just, when I say, I just don't say it. I kind of mouth the words, but I don't have any voice come out, so makes no difference. Oh, yeah. Wow, you the mailman? What's that? You the mailman? I am. Say hi to Lori for me. Lori. <laughs> I say, which Lori are we talking about? It's just a little, little, brawny little thing that. She does my mail service up on Blueberry Lane and on the other side of uh, the school. Laurie and Annie does it sometimes, too. No, Laurie's been going there for a long time doing my mail. Hang on. Here. I'm trying to remember whose name. Laurie, little girl. Uh, she always says hi. I always stop chat with her when when she gets a chance. She's always bringing packages to my door. Are you Danielson too? No, Brooklyn. And oh, you were Danielson. I'm in Danielson. Yes. Oh. That, yeah, this is part yeah. of the. It's I thought Brooklyn, you guys. Yeah. I thought Brooklyn did down here. No, until this has been um, this has been part of the Danielson office. It's still Brooklyn. Yeah. But yeah, it's part of the Danielson office. It's been part of us for. I heard that, I heard that a long time ago. Yeah. I've been a resident for 60 years, so yeah. I heard it and then left my head. But well, no, because I'm thinking Lori, because we had a Lori in our office. But she transferred over to Putnam as a supervisor now. Oh, okay. So that's what I was thinking. I, yeah, because I don't know many of the carriers uh, in uh, the Another Brooklyn girl office. that had been there for a while, Harriot, Joyce Harriot, had been a postal clerk down in yes. Danielson for a while. She went to Putnam for a while. Yeah, and I think Joyce is, uh, I think she's in, uh, in Brooklyn right now. Oh, she's right still it? Oh, Joyce is? Yeah. Get the hell out. I'm pretty sure Joyce does the delivery for me in the morning to bring me my Brooklyn mail and then goes up to Hampton. And does work in Hampton. Oh, I okay. I believe if I'm talking about the same Joyce. Oh, she's probably in her 60s. Yeah, blonde hair. Yeah, shorter. yeah, yeah. Short, short, well, short hair too. I yeah, think. a little yeah, curly. Short hair. Uh, she yeah. used to be my daughter's babysitter back when. Uh, shit, I'm 71, so my daughter was. Well, my daughter is not right now 636. Yep. So back then was probably in the in the 90s. What's your daughter's name? Erin Holden. Wait, she used to work at Frito Lay. She works at the hospital now. Uh, she she plays a... pool in the area. I definitely know the name because I'm 34 and I went to Killing Lake. Uh, and... She went to Woodstock. I know the name. Erin yeah. Holden. Huh. Check out my YouTube page, yeah, man. Absolutely. I'm having a good fucking time being retired and stoned and drunk. There you go, my man. You can't beat that shit right there. <laughs> I came down to cash my check at the bank and at the oh, bank geez. down here, and I know, and I drive up with my bike on yep. the drive through, yep. and then I go up here, have a couple, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Before I get there, I get high. Before, yeah. And when I get home, I get high. That's the only way to do it. Oh, man. Enjoy it, man. Have a great day, boss. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going through. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gary, you're a fucking idiot sometimes. Yeah, well, uh, I can be that way. <laughs> That's right, this is Danielson. This is Danielson Post Office that goes through South Street. That's uh, South, Main's, uh, South Main Street. South Street is Danielson, but this used to be Danielson, so they kept it on the map as a Danielson uh, postal delivery. Joyce Harriot used to work at the Danielson Post Office for a little while. I don't care. I'll talk to anybody. In fact... I don't know who the people were at uh, Maury's today, but I bought five guys a shot of oatmeal raisin cookie. Whatever it was. Yeah, he mixed it up in a snifter. No, snifter. A mixer. And uh, poured six. <laughs> yeah, that Gavin had two. Gavin had two. Uh, a shot. Uh, I bought five other shots, one for me and four other guys, and I was charged, get this, 20 bucks. Twenty bucks. So, I spent, uh, let me see, six, twelve, 25. 12 and 25 is 30. Evan, I spent 40 bucks today. I have a boy, I have a. Hey guys. Whatever. I don't really give a shit. I get a mowing job that nets me three grand a, a summer. At least three grand a summer. And uh, I get a pension, and my annuity check comes in. That's 500 bucks right there. So, between, oh, six grand a month, uh, six grand a year, plus, 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 because I am a retired a veteran, I get an annuity. I get a pension, and I also get bennies from Uncle Sam, which leads to nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, I get my, uh, yeah, I got nothing from Uncle Sam except my, boy, I had my gallbladder taken out in November. October, November, I can't remember, November, and the bill was $75,000 for my gallbladder being out, I was in the hospital for a week, I got shots, I got a surgery, I got doctor care for a week, $75,000, well, let me tell you right now, right now is May. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months later, and I still have not seen a bill. Supposedly, my bill would be, as they told me on all of these pre paperwork things, my payment would be $1,800. But I tell you right now, people I haven't seen it, a bill yet that says, pay us. Really. I haven't seen a bill that says, pay me. My bill was $75,000. And I haven't seen a bill that 
VA must have taken care of some of it. When I had my, uh, I had a, I have a tumor, a uh, benign tumor on my optic nerve, and I see nothing to the left, to the exact left. I can see to the left now and see stuff, but right to the left of wherever I'm looking, at that center point, I can't see to the left. I had surgery in my brain, and I had uh, laser treatment, 30 days. The bill came to 60 some, $62,000, and I never saw a bill. That was Fallon Clinic 20 some years ago. Fallon Clinic. <laughs> yeah, the music guys made out pretty good for the year. Yeah, the Beezer guys may know pretty good, can you tell? Well, both operations, making it through life. I made $85,000 in my pocket on my old home, and I bought my new home for 90 back in 1991. And that means that I had no, no mortgage. I paid cash for my house because I had 85000 from my first house in my pocket. And I just, nothing. So, Mr. Beezer guy has been the luckiest mofo in the world. And I don't have any bills other than taxes and my regular bills. And I'm not freaking loaded, but I do not have a... Uh, guys calling me to say, Gowie, Gowie, you've got to pay this bill or we're going to stop whatever you got for this bill. No, I don't have it. A lot of kids today, like COVID. What the fuck? COVID did nothing for me except, what? What? I got to stay home? I'm already home. What do you mean I got to stay home? So anyway, uh, life's been good for the Beezer guy. Four years in the Navy, 18 years at International Paper, just doing my thing, going along, being a guy that's always high. And then I got quit my, I didn't quit. I got fired from International Paper because I was subordinate. Yep, I said something out of line. So I got fired. Went to Worcester Envelope. 18 years there, and I quit, went to Frito-Lay in, in Dayville, Connecticut for five months. I was on the edge of my life being that, holy shit, talk about my anxiety every day of bagging, packing chips into a box. I had more chips on the fucking floor than I had on the fucking box. Five months. Goodbye, I'm all done. I've had enough of this fucking hole in the wall. A month later, I got my disability social security check. Look at that bike. Social security check disability for, oh, let me see. Hey, <laughs> seven years. Until I became a Social Security recipient, and now I get the same 100% disability, because that's what it was, <laughs> for my Social Security check, which is, well, whatever. <laughs> my wife gets half of my Social Security. She gets a pension, which she spends. I get a pension, which I spend. I just cashed the check today, and it's going in my pocket. Because I take my annuity and put it in the deposit box. Not deposit box. Safe place. People. I do not want for anything. What did I do last week? Oh, I bought calipers for the front brake of this bike because they weren't working. They were broken. 
I bought a bag for my bicycle. Because this one right here is too small. So I bought a bigger bag for my bicycle. And I bought, ooh, let me see, a knife sharpener from Pampered Chef. Uh, what else did I buy? Bought one or two other things. And, uh, oh, I bought air filters for my zero turn lawnmower. People, I don't know about you. But since I was good with my money, and I worked a buku overtime every single week, I worked at least 12 hours of overtime, 60 hour a week, 62, uh, yeah, 60 hour a week, <laughs> whatever, I can't figure it out now, I'm too freaking drunk, 60 hour a week, plus I worked a job on the side Wallpapering, painting, wallpapering was my forte back in the 70s, 80s. Yeah, I like the wallpaper. And I just worked overtime. So, and I got a pension for, I, Worcester, uh, International Paper gave me my retirement thrift program, which is what they called it. And I put a couple of bucks in my stash. And then Worcester Envelope gives me so much a month. And that's where I get my pension. Worcester Envelope. Yeah. I was frugal. But at the same time, I worked overtime. And I worked a second job. So I always had money for drinking and smoking. If I had to buy some smoke, I had that money. If I didn't, I wouldn't buy. Hey, I'm not the kind of guy to take it out of the checkbook. That's not that kind of money. My pocket money was what I had for that. You guys getting it yet so far? <laughs> the Beezer guy has had a good life. In fact, it's 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm riding a bicycle on a Wednesday afternoon after I had two vodka rocks and two shots of oatmeal cookie, oatmeal raisin cookie. Eh, it was a shot. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> Can you, can you understand where I'm coming from? Easy life. Everybody that I knew that went in the Navy. Uh, out of boot camp, you went in the service to a ship. You did KP duty, which is kitchen patrol. Well... chief or something like that, but I didn't do anything for myself. I went over and I had a good time. Is that a helicopter? Yeah. I'm at the country. I don't know which way it's coming from. Oh, there it is. <laughs>